In this session, we'll explore the concept of reference text and how it can help us annotate multiple Civil 3D objects using a single label. Let's take a look. On my screen, I have some geometry that represents a portion of a proposed subdivision design. Let's zoom in a little. Here we can see the alignments that define the center lines for each of the roads. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I would like to create some labels to annotate the station values here at each of the intersections. Let's try that. We'll do it by going to the Annotate tab, and then in the Labels and Tables panel, I'll click this price tag. This will bring up the Add Labels dialog box, where I can select the feature that I'd like to label. I'll choose Alignment. I can then select my label type. I'm going to go with Station Offset Fixed Point. I do that because I have created a style that's going to label the alignment name and station. Let's choose Add, and then if we look at the command line, we can see that it's asking us to select the alignment that we'd like to label. I'm going to choose Birch Street and then I can select the point I'd like to label. I will select the intersection of Birch and Walnut. I'll press Escape here to jump out of the command, and then we will pull out this label, and we'll zoom in and take a look. Now, this label's not bad, although I would also like to add the station information for Walnut Lane as well. Fortunately, I can do that by simply adding some reference text to this label style. Now, I don't want to cannibalize this style. I'm going to keep it. Instead, we'll create a copy from this style. Since the Add Labels dialog box is still up, let's open this menu right next to the style name, and I'll choose Copy Current Selection. We'll call the new style Alignment Name and Station Intersection. I will then go to the Layout tab. I'll click in the Preview area, and we'll zoom in and get a better look. Right here we can see that this label style has a single component called Name and Station. That component has a text height of 0.1, and if I click in the Contents field, we can click the ellipsis button and see how this label was built. It starts with some programming code that's going to extract the alignment name, and then it's followed by some text, STA colon, we can see that right here, and then that is followed by some programming code that's going to extract the station value in feet to the hundredth of a foot. Let me click Cancel. I would like to create a new component beneath this one that's going to allow me to label the intersecting alignment. To do that, I'm going to open the component list and I'll choose Reference Text. Using Reference Text, I can extract data from a completely separate Civil 3D object. Notice the type of objects that we can choose from. Just imagine some of the things you could do with this option. In this case, I'd like to pull some alignment data, so I'll select Alignment, and I'll click OK. Let's give this new component a name. I'm going to call it Alignment Intersect. We'll assign it a text height of 0.1 to match the other component. I would like this component to be anchored to the previous component. I would like it anchored in the bottom left corner, and I would like the new label to be attached at the top left corner. So the top left of the new label is aligning to the bottom left of the previous label. Let's go to the Contents field. I'll click the ellipsis button, and we'll build this label. I'll start by selecting the sample text, and I'll press Delete. And then if I open the Properties list, you can see that since we're using an Alignment Reference Text object, we are seeing all of the Alignment properties in here. I'm going to choose Alignment Name first, and then I'll click to push this over. I will then click after that programming code, and we'll type STA colon. I'll come back to Properties, and we'll extract the station value. I'd like that in feet to the hundredth of a foot. Let me push that over, and I'll click OK. Notice that the reference text displays as question marks. It will always display this way until it has data to annotate. This looks good for now. Let me come down and click OK. And then let's try and apply that label to another intersection. I'll pan this over. We can see our new label style happens to be the default now. I'll click Add. I can then select the alignment I'd like to label. In this case, I'll click on Birch Street, the point. That will be the intersection of these two alignments. And then if we look at the command line, it says select alignment for label style component called Align Intersect. I'm going to choose the Maple Avenue alignment, and I'll press Escape. I will then select the label, and we'll drag this out. So using the one label style, I was able to label data from multiple alignments. Let's pan this down, and we'll look at how we can assign that new style to this existing label. I'll select the label, and we'll go to the Properties palette. Right here we can see the alignment that we chose when we created the label. I could change that here if I wanted to. Birch Street is fine. Let's change the style. If I open this up, I can select my new intersection style. If I press Escape, we can see the question marks. Now I'd like to include data from Walnut Lane. I'll select the label again and I'll go to the Properties palette. Here at the top we can see an entry for the reference text. In fact, if I drag this out, we can see the name of the reference text right there. 
I'm going to open the menu and I'll choose Walnut Lane. I will then drag this back. I'll press Escape. And you can see the updated label on screen. Let me mention that I used reference text as part of a station label. That being said, the reference text option is available in most Civil 3D label styles. So when you're creating labels or label styles, remember that annotations can span multiple Civil 3D objects. If you get a chance, try labeling a station, offset, and surface elevation. Try creating a single label that includes multiple profile elevations. When it comes to reference text, you are only limited by your creativity. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.